There's a huge industry around supplements to cure diabetes and flush out toxins. But many supplement companies don't have solid evidence to support their claims. And because diabetes affects most of our population, some people are not only curious, but even desperate to try any supplement that might give them relief. Let me just throw this out there. There are no supplements that have been proven without a doubt to lower blood sugars. So please, don't believe everything you hear. There are many diabetes supplements on the market, so let's break down the research around them. The first supplement I'll talk about is alpha-lipoic acid, also known as ALA. Now, research has shown that it can reduce the risk of some diabetes complications, including macular edema, an eye condition that can cause vision loss, and also diabetic neuropathy, the nerve damage caused by diabetes. But high doses of it can cause stomach problems, and the research on ALA is not very solid. Now, the next one bugs me, chromium. It might improve blood sugar control slightly in some people who have inadequate dietary chromium intake, but the side effects of taking chromium include stomach pain, muscle problems, kidney damage, and even skin reactions if it's high doses. There are lots of herbal supplements out there claiming effects in controlling glucose levels. Some examples of herbal remedies include cinnamon, bitter melon, ginseng, and even sweet potato. And though they might help lower glucose, there is no reliable evidence to support any glucose effects. So be cautious with varying unwanted side effects of a lot of these herbal remedies because sleepiness, flatulence or diarrhea, or even bitter mouth taste can happen. Magnesium is another popular one, but even though not enough magnesium from food can increase the risk of getting diabetes, there isn't enough evidence to support taking magnesium when you already have diabetes. So if you're unsure if you need a magnesium supplement or not, just eating more foods rich in magnesium can help. Brand cereal, certain seeds and nuts, and spinach are a few great sources of magnesium. But be careful. Too much magnesium can cause diarrhea and abdominal cramping, and more than 5,000 milligrams a day can even be deadly. Now for fish oil. This one is tricky. Fish oil is good for your heart health since it lowers the bad cholesterol and raises the good, but it has not been shown to lower your blood glucose levels or reduce your diabetes risk. Taking fish oil can cause bad breath, gas, nausea and vomiting, and it can also interact with some blood thinning medications. Selenium is another supplement that became popular in recent years. Now, current research has not shown that selenium could reduce diabetes risk or blood glucose at all. And long-term intake of selenium can cause hair and nail loss, problems with digestion, and even the nervous system. Here's an easy one, vitamin C. A review of 22 research studies and 937 people found that vitamin C doesn't help glucose all that much. But taking it doesn't hurt either. Vitamin D is an interesting supplement. There are tons of research studies surrounding this right now, but not for diabetes per se. Low blood vitamin D puts a person at an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and even insulin resistance. But while taking it doesn't help to treat your glucose or diabetes, it could help to improve your mood and reduce the risk of depression. Too much vitamin D can cause nausea, constipation, weakness, kidney damage, disorientation, and even an irregular heart rhythm. So take a supplement or go outside and soak up some sun. Not too much though, because skin cancer is also a real issue. Now this was a lot to take in, I know. But in short, there are no supplements out there that are sure to help lower glucose. 
the best thing you can do is to eat well and be physically active and maybe take some vitamin D. Nutrition and exercise helps keep all your vitals and cholesterol stable. It helps control your weight. It can prevent or delay diabetes complications, improve your mood and give you more energy. I'll say this in all our videos if I could, but there's no supplement to shortcut good nutrition and exercise. I hope this cleared up any questions you have or rumors that you've heard and helps you save a few bucks on medications. I hope you like this video. Go ahead and scroll through our website or our Unified Care app for more information about chronic conditions, vitals monitoring, and general nutrition and wellness. See you again soon.